Well, uh, it's no edit Tuesday, so we're going to see how this goes. It, it could be rather scary. I'm not really sure, but here we are. Uh, I'm in the studio, and I'm in the back room of the studio where I paint. I uh, just wanted to make one back here and uh, show you guys kind of some stuff I've been working on. Um, some old stuff and uh, just general chit-chat. That's probably what I would edit out, edit out there. Blech. Just like that. It'd be gone. However, no, not today. Yeah, so here we go. Um, I guess I just want to talk a little art today, and I wanted to talk about one of my favorite art lessons that I ever received from my eighth grade teacher. Really, it was it was one of the best lessons I learned from any of my art teachers over the years, and it was uh, we had to do a drawing not using our eraser, and I think. Um, a lot of people in our class just, you know, use the eraser to the nth degree, and, and it was it was a little ugly at the end of it when you could see all the eraser marks. And so one of our assignments was to do a drawing not using the eraser at all, and to, if you make a mistake, work with it. Um, so, you know, it's it's like that if you, you know, get lemons, make lemonade things. Nothing, nothing new and earth-shattering. It's just, it was a great lesson for me and I still use it. I try to, to make whatever happens work, and sometimes those are the ones that work the best. In the end, uh, I'm really happy with something that ended up being a mistake. So, you know, you just, you never know. It, it could be the best part of what you're working on. Just throwing it out there. My little lesson to you. And you can apply that to other things, not just art, I think. Yeah, in general. So, yes, there we go. Weird transition. And my nose itches, which I also would have edited that, that out as well. Yeah. So, okay, without lingering, I was talking to Angela on Skype one day, and I was here painting, and I had this in the back, and she wanted to see it. And I've, I put this up on Daily Booth a while back, but she was surprised at how big it was. So I just wanted to show you the scale of it. So yeah, it's 24 by 36, it's a watercolor. And I did this in college, is my watercolor class that we that I took. Um, as a painting and drawing major, we had to take a variety of uh, media. And one of them was watercolor, which I was not a fan of. I actually, watercolor kind of scared me because you can't really go back and, and fix something. It makes it, it's hard. It's harder to do than in, acrylic or oil because you can always cover that up but but watercolor you can't really cover it up and um like I hate the hair up here but it's it's done I'm not going back some people do that I myself um generally don't go back and rework my stuff because it, it is what it is and that's what it is that moment and that's it's just it's a lesson for me so I rarely ever go back and, and change something after I've finished it. If I say it's finished, then it's done. It's I don't go back even after um, I've put it away for a while and come back and go, ah, ah, man, I really, that's bad. It is what it is. So uh, I don't want to overwork anything. So that's that's that. But um, I, I, I am proud of this piece. I think it came out well. It's John Lennon, if you don't know, from uh, the movie How I Won the War. And it was a close-up still. Uh, and I just really liked it. And it, it took me 90 minutes to paint. I kind of got myself worked up in a watercolor frenzy. And I just uh, started and finished in an hour and a half. And um, that's, that's what we have. So that's... Um, and I got a, uh, one of my, my best compliments I got was from my watercolor instructor who at the beginning of our class said, you guys are not going to make a great watercolor in this class. I mean, it's just, it's watercolor 101. And, you know, most of the assignments we did were really just to learn techniques and stuff. But this was one of our last ones. And um, when I put it up there, he's like, this is a, a great watercolor, which, you know, was a great compliment to me and I, I, I always treasure that. So, um, anyway, it was just, um, it meant a lot to me. Yeah, there you go. So that's, that's that. And again, I would edit that out.
I gotta stop singing. I'm gonna edit it out. And let's see. Um, this is an oil painting I did at the beginning of the year. Uh, well, middle of the year. I don't remember. Early summer. Uh, you can't really see it because of the glare, but it's a cheese a cheese uh, shaker from a pizza place. If you don't know what it is, and in the back here is a salt shaker in the background. So FYI. And this is what I'm working on now. I'm, I'm kind of stuck with this one, or on this one. I'm not sure what else to do. It's um, some mixed media. It's uh, that back here. This is spray paint, and it's um, I think a placemat that I just sprayed yellow and then sprayed red, and it came out kind of orange. And it, it kind of looks, if it were blue, it'd look like water. I think it kind of has a water look to it. And then I put modeling paste on here, and. Um, you know, I'm kind of working with the purples. I got several purples going on, but just the different textures. I'm not sure what else to do with this one, so it's 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 percolating. That's what I call it when I'm working on something and I don't know what to do. It's uh, percolating, so I'm percolating on that one. And this one I had high hopes for, but um, it's on canvas, and I probably shouldn't have put so much modeling paste on. Uh, but it cracked, so I'm trying to see if I can make those cracks work for me. Again, percolating. I don't know. So that's that's all I got. Uh, let's see. Oh. This was my last um, Coke can piece, which you can't see because the lighting's really bad in here. But um, I don't know. And you, you can't really see inside there. It's just, uh, there's parts of it I like and parts of it I absolutely hate. So I don't know, and I wish the lighting were better, but I'm, I'm, it's not. You really still can't see. But there's some neat textural things going on in it. See, there's different areas I like individually. But uh, as far as all together, not so much. So, yeah. Well, seven minutes and 30-something seconds. This is going to be fun. No editing. I just throw it up there. Have fun. Well, you've already watched all of it, so you may not have had fun. I don't, I don't really know. I'm not sure I would watch it, but okay. Now, I, I really have to stop talking. <laughs>